I know, I, okay, you can see the sun beach. This is uh, my place. I was work, working at Honda, and the most uh, uh, my uh, uh, responsibility is uh, to make a supply chain in the, in the world. In the USA, Canada, Mexico, Brazil, or uh, UK, English in the India, Pakistan, the Thailand, Indonesia, and the Turkey around. So uh, my involvement with India is very deep. Uh, so the, the, when uh, Hero Honda start, I was uh, one of the uh, foundation member. And uh, also I have a lot of relation with Maruti Suzuki, you know. And also at the time of establishment Honda Automotive Plant, I also is a leader. And I uh, used to be the member, the director of the Munjal Showa, is a hero group and making uh, Shokab Soba like that. And uh, after retirement, I've been in charge of the, uh, I established a company which is a contribute a relationship with Ind India and the Japanese uh, automotive industry. Please, next page. Uh, this is a picture of when uh, I was working uh, at the Honda Motor. And I'm eating something in a small airplane. And uh, uh, underneath is uh, the, my, the picture with my friend in the working at the Honda Canada. So the Honda is uh, lacking in the uh, man, uh, no, man talent who can speak English. So the people uh, if he has, uh, he cannot speak English, but uh, his body is uh, very strong, like a macho. He is uh, uh, qualified, and uh, they are sent to any place in the world. So this is uh, my friend very much uh, that uh, no, no speak English, but working somewhere. Next please. And I also personally, uh, we have a relation with uh, India very much, and uh, this picture, uh, the right side and the upper right side is my mother and, uh, when, uh, when she was young and uh, she looks India. And uh, I visited India for the first time. 1984, I visited India for the first time and I'm in charge of the Hero Honda Foundation and after the automotive plant. And I visited India around six and a hundred six times. The, my grandmother the, used to pay, the paint and uh, her painting that she sold to, to the Indian merchant house in Yokohama. So my mother also like India and uh, she visited five or six times and uh, for the training of the yoga. Uh, so this is a picture of when I, I promote uh, exhibition, art exhibition in the Rad Sarai in New Delhi in India in 2014. So the, you can see that my interview with the TV. So uh, it was a very exciting uh, uh, exhibition. You can see the Himalaya and the right side Mount Fuji, and also left side the Bollywood uh, for this uh, ten year. But uh, for this, uh, for this uh, three or five year because of uh, Corona and other problem is a decline. China is very much a tremendous technology progress and uh, economy development, as you see. But uh, also India's development is uh, currently a little bit uh, uh, stagnation, uh, stagnated. I will explain later without uh, PowerPoint. Six, that is what is networking. Networking, I'm sure all of you have come across this word and all of you are uh, using this word every day in your life. Networking traditionally did not have such a thing called social or offline or uh, uh, professional networking. Networking was just networking, which referred to an act of making contact and exchanging information with other people, groups and institutions to develop mutually beneficial relationships. It is basically nothing but an exchange of your opinions, your ideas, to see, is to see where uh, you stand with the person that you're interacting. What do you share in common? Whether do you share anything in common or you don't share anything in common? It is just to find a common ground with anybody or any company or any institution that you are interacting with. 
Secondly, networking can be said to be sharing and acquiring information between different divisions of the same company to meet a common goal. First is when you exchange your business card for someone. Of course, right now you're too young to have business card, but at some point down the line, or if you right now have a side hobby or uh, interest that you are seeking to, uh, you know, get into more uh, later on in your future then it is always beneficial to have a business card something that people should easily connect with it should be catchy it should be memorable it it need not be a traditional old school business card it can be something very simple and something very catchy or trendy so first type of networking is always business cards in case of professional networking second is job recommendations when job recommendations are also to be free. It's not that you are out there in the market just to ask, keep asking people, okay, do you have a job? Do you have a job for me? Do you have a job for me? No, that's not what networking is all about. Networking is always looking out for the other people also. Um, and in Japan, uh, in the real estate market, uh, we have plenty a number of categories and plenty number of uh, services are there. And in that, uh, Japan housing is uh, using uh, some of them and the combinating uh, because uh, most most of the services are only in Japanese, but uh, some of them are um, uh, we uh, just edit and combinate and uh, provide to our customer uh, with using such uh, combinant tools. <clears throat> And uh, co combinating this, uh, Japan Housing uh, realized our uh, uh, unique service. So now, um, starting from 2006, uh, Japan Housing is a, uh, realized a one-stop service for customer. So customer can come to Japan uh, only one luggage. So then uh, we uh, we will provide uh, not only a property. Uh, because uh, if you want to work in Japan, uh, work permission visa is required. So includes that uh, Japan housing supporting um, massage uh, massage uh, staffs. <clears throat> and uh, this is an example. Um, this is a big data for uh, real estate market price. Uh, uh, comparisons. So compared to last year and this year, my uh, in our area, Yokohama, is slightly increasing the price. So, but this is a uh, link. Briefly discuss some aspects of uh, Japanese culture. I've been given to understand that many of you are keen to visit Japan. Either you would like to walk there or to study there or just that you are, uh, you know, you are fond of Japan. However, it is actually uh, rarely used in, uh, in, in daily life. So Sayonara is often used as a greeting between students and teachers at school or when you are saying goodbye to someone, you will never meet again. So I'm going to show you these three festival and Kokoroda ceremony. And then at the end, I'd like to show you upcoming classes. And then the last three, I'd like to hear your voice in Tokyo, New Year's most important traditional holiday celebrated in Japan. Hatsumode Festival, which is 1st of January and to January 3rd, at held practically every shrine and temple across Japan. We are located in Minatoku. Uh and established in 1999. Former early David is start from 1940s. And um, yeah, and capital is a, a kind of money and sales about Hachiokuen uh, is uh, our sales uh, average. But in 19, oh, no, 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 2020, uh, when the COVID-19 starts, our business was um, very shrinked, 20 or 25% shrink, 
but now we recovered ourselves we uh, was um about um 800 million hachioku torimodoshimashita industry is trading and uh the business is um uh, here under one two three um, textile chemical and motorcycle motor car related products and this is the history can you see yes yeah. we can see yeah 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 um the important point is what's already shared yeah um, 19 14 40, Ari Deber, and they we um uh experienced a great country earthquake and World War Two and Deber um was expanded yes, also in Hong Kong in that era. And after that, um, this 45 years, no, 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 this about 50, 50 years uh, was the era of the successor of David. And fifth president, um, Mr. Atu is a friend of David, but um, he, uh he's also a distributor of jewel in japan mm. so he cannot continue this um labor business yes. so um our um japanese employee in that era two employee was um successed the um labor business the name is Deva Shokai, but um, the, there are no more Deva family in Japan, especially in this kind of business. So they changed the name DTEX Shokai. Um, the D in DTEX means um, Deva's business name. Deva um, created some kind of group, Deco group in Japan and India. So DTEX um, use the name of Deco um, uh, as D. And Tex means um, from textile. Um, in that era, textile business is uh, um, our major business and uh, textile is a start of the labor business in 1940, 14s. So our name is DTEX Shokai. And after 20 years passed, um, the two Japanese get old. Um, about eight uh, chairman uh, was 80, 80 years old and the president uh, was 70, about 70 years old. So they think um, we should, uh, they should uh, find some successor of this um, Deva oriented Indian business. That was um, three years ago. Um, Mr. Idemitsu um, met um DTEX, DTEX Shokai and they um talk about the uh, expand um, his Idemitsu business and the DTEX business so they agree to um merger and acquaintance to DTEX Shokai so in that um timing I'm I also met Mr. Idemitsu and when I was in Canon, um, I was in charge of um, global trading, uh, trading in Canon, and I also love India because I was in charge of the, some supporter and mentor of the internship students from 
India. Um, the student is from uh, IIIT, Indian Institute of Industry Design and Manufacturing. Yeah, One. it's called IIT. IIIT. Do you know? Yes, I have heard about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every year, two students from IIIT was uh, attended uh, in internship program. はじめまして。私の名前はハルシです。インドのポネに住んでいます。今JLPTN5の勉強をしています。AI コーディングはカナライと恋です。えっと、日本で仕事をしたいと思います。よろしくお願いします。はじめまして。私の名前はアクシタです。インドのポネに住んでいます。私はエンジニアリングで大学生です。エンジニアリングの専門はコンピューター